हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज अनिल बड़ी शॉर्टकर वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो लास्ट टाइम आई हैव डिस्कस्ड सर्टेन थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग सम ऑफ आवर पेपर्स एंड वेयर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड लाइक द इमरजेंस ऑफ लॉन्ग रेंज मैग्नेटिक ऑर्डर इन लो डाइमेंशनल सिस्टम्स देन आई हैव आल्सो शोड एंड डिस्कस्ड सम वन ऑफ आवर रिसेंट वर्क विथ मैग्नेटिक टॉपोलॉजी एंड and like how uh, the interplay of magnetism and symmetry and topology can give rise to uh, very interesting uh, physics uh, so that things i have discussed in my last video uh, so today i will be discussing a slightly different topic so today uh, so this uh, what i am going to discuss today i have nably uh, discussed discussed up to a certain extent in my older videos but today i will try to discuss these things in a more elaborative way Uh, so I will be discussing uh, regarding some neuroscience, some cognitive neuroscience, some uh, I mean psychophysics, and and the importance of physics and music, uh, and like and followed by the followed by the connection of of the kind of work that I am doing, uh, and if the relation with neuroscience, then the artificial intelligence and the emergence, I mean, and the connection to robotics. and at the same time uh, the kind of like uh, like like the working in magnetism topology superconductivity and 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 followed by followed by different magnetic memory devices uh, so one thing i have also discussed in my earlier videos uh, regarding like managing professional and personal relations uh, managing stress and all uh, but the thing is um, i mean i mean while uh, while i was observing all those things while i was uh, thinking about all those things i came across certain things called neurological disorders so that i was uh, that i was i have been i have been currently uh, reading uh, regarding these things uh, so there are quite a few uh, neurological disorders or there are quite a few uh, neurological neurological terms uh, that uh, i found very interesting i uh, found very interesting so i'd like just like to uh, slightly discuss about these things uh, for example starting with dementia followed by epilepsy and and some headache disorder things also i have also uh, found a very interesting uh, things regarding autoimmune or brain disorder so it's it's so these things uh, in a nutshell is this are like uh, somehow uh, related uh, to our daily life activities to the kind of work we generally do in in in, in our uh, daily life uh, so yeah so with that i would like to start Um, 
but uh, but it it uh, it it may be uh, in a certain way may be treatable and uh, but yeah. So the uh, so the stages of dementia are like uh, starting from first stage, then middle stage, and the last stage. So in the first stage, it's like forgetfulness. Uh, I mean, I mean, you you, you lose the track of time. Uh, and like uh, becoming lost in the familiar places in the middle stage is, is like uh, having increasingly difficult with communications, um, needing help for personal care, and, and in the last stage is like I mean I mean I mean if you, if you I mean these are like the symptoms that one can in principle follow uh, in a particular person uh, to observe like what kind of stage that person is in currently. So in the last stage, like having difficulty in walking, uh, experiencing behavior changes that may escalate and include aggression and um, having difficulty recognizing relatives and friends so this is kind of a last stage of dementia uh, so uh, these things uh, i'll share a link where uh, share, i mean where these things have been discussed in a more uh, more uh, elaborative way uh, so and these things are prepared but in the first stage it's like forgetfulness uh, i mean i mean you, you you lose the track of time uh, and like uh, becoming lost in the familiar places in the middle stage is, is like uh, having increasingly difficult with communications, um, needing help for personal care, and, and in the last stage is like I mean I mean I mean if, if you I mean these are like the symptoms that one can in principle follow uh, in a particular person uh, to observe like what kind of stage that person is in currently. So in the last stage, like having difficulty in walking, uh, experiencing behavior changes that may Exoskelet and include aggression and um, having difficulty recognizing relatives and friends. So this is kind of a last stage of dementia. Uh, so uh, these things, uh, I'll share a link where uh, share. I mean, where these things have been discussed in a more uh, more uh, elaborative way. Uh, so in the description box. Uh, so with that, uh, now I'd like to discuss certain things regarding epilepsy. Uh, so it is like a chronic uh, neurological disorder affecting. Uh, I mean, I mean it can affect. Uh, I mean, uh, both. Uh, I mean. Uh, so these epileptic conditions or epileptic things are like uh, multifunctional disorders, and it is useful. Um, it is useful to discuss uh, these important factors. The first factor is like a pre. Uh, just like to mention uh, regarding epileptic seizure uh, is defined. Uh, it is defined as a transient uh, occurrence of signs and uh, I mean of symptoms. Symptoms due to abnormal, uh, excessive or uh, synchronous uh, neural activity in the brain. So. So, um, in a nutshell, it's like uh, the brain stimulations. Uh, it's 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 the main important thing as far as taking care of these neurology neurological disorders are concerned. I mean, uh, whether it is dementia, whether it's epileptic behavior, or whether you are having any headache or disorder. So. Uh, I find like uh, like uh, like uh, synchronizations with the uh, particular amount, particular kind of music, or like uh, using uh, or like utilizations the the process of physics and music, and and can be of uh, utmost importance as far as maintaining or managing these things uh, are concerned in our regular. So. Uh, while discussing this epilepsy, I would just like to mention uh, regarding epileptic seizure uh, is defined. Uh, it is defined as a transient uh, occurrence of signs uh, and uh, I mean of symptoms. Symptoms due to abnormal, uh, excessive, or uh, synchronous uh, neural activity in the brain. So, um, in a nutshell, it's like uh, the brain stimulations. Uh, it's, it's it's the main important thing as far as taking care of these neurology neurological disorders are concerned. I mean, uh, whether it is dementia, whether it is epileptic behavior, or whether you are having any headache or disorder. So, uh, I find like uh, like uh, like uh, synchronizations with the particular amount, particular kind of music, or like uh, using uh, or like utilizations the the process of physics and music, and and can be of uh, utmost importance as far as maintaining or managing these things. Uh, I like to mention another thing, it's called migraine. Uh, so it is it is kind of a primary headache disorder. Uh, it almost yeah, it almost certainly has a genetic basis, uh, but environmental factors also play a significant significant role. Uh, 
so there are different techniques uh, there are different uh, like uh, scientific methods scientific technology uh, with which uh, these things uh, can be taken care of uh, one of are like uh, functional magnetic resonance uh, imaging so it's like mri again this magnetism uh, will play an important role uh, as far as uh, and, and have been i mean taking care of or maintaining these things around sir these things related to cognitive neuroscience and then and the importance of music and musical acoustics and and discussing this dementia epilepsy uh, and head or headache disorders um, or i just like to slightly mention regarding uh, different hormonal activities uh, like for example dopamine oxytocin serotonin and endorphins so this uh, four plays a very important role actually uh, i mean i mean if we can somehow control if we can somehow uh, maintain our daily life activities maintain our daily habits in certain way that we can have a control we can have our own control on these hormones uh, i mean we can take care of a certain of a good amount of things now having discussed all those things now coming uh, to the kind of research activities or or the broader picture of doing research in material yeah. science is concerned so it's like it's like connecting this neuroscience or connecting the um, the, the information mission connecting the physics connecting the broader science uh, connected with this neuroscience neurology and connecting it to the artificial intelligence techniques and and followed by connection of the neural network we uh, i mean the broader picture is is like the robotics uh, so yeah this is one kind of way uh, we can actually principle think of and and like again and i'm coming back to the kind of work i generally do i mean uh, we are kind of rigorously doing is like it's like connection of magnetism topology followed by superconductivity and and And, and I've been preparing or thinking about uh, about different magnetic memory devices. So, for example, in in artificial intelligence, they use uh, memory. I mean, I mean, I mean, GTD or kind of a memory has been I mean generally used. So, uh, and there are I mean, as far as our um, uh, I mean, I mean, computers are concerned. So nowadays, it's SSD like solid state drive, then HDD hard disk drive. So these are I mean, I mean, I mean, quite a, uh, I mean, quite a, uh, I mean, known phenomena. I mean, known uh, things that we generally uh, deal with in our uh, daily life activities. So yeah. So uh, with that, I would I would actually like to continue in this uh, neurology and neuroscience a bit. Uh, so yeah, with that. Like to start for today. Thank you. Uh, so with that, I'd like to say thank you. Stay tuned. I will be coming with more videos, and please subscribe. Thank you.